Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be combo guides for Phantom Knights. We're going to do one guide video for well with tour guides. So if you pulled out tour guide, this is what the combo guide is going to be about. Obviously you can do other stuff with the cards that you pulled, but this is going to be related to tour guide and one card that you can discard. So Phantom Knights, if you didn't know, is a deck that focuses on its graveyard effect to generate advantages by searching cards. Them, sending them to the graveyard and then obviously special summoning from the graveyard as well. So with Phantom Knights, your goal, I guess, is to lock out your opponent by summoning certain cards or putting up negates as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get started with the first combo, which is with Torgai. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to summon up Torgai onto the field. Nothing to discard just yet. We're going to uh, activate the effect and get grab from the deck. Let's go ahead and get this. Once graph is on the field, the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to link these two for Cherubini. That's what we're going to link summon right now. Let's go ahead and do that. And right after that, we're going to get a Sir from the deck. We're going to use Graph's effect from the graveyard. There it is. And let's pull up Sir right there. Seems good. Once that's pulled up, we're going to use his effect to discard gloves to the graveyard. There it is. We're not going to use gloves effect just yet. Let's go ahead and link some of these two and get Rusty onto the field. Right after that, we can get uh, Cherubini back onto the field as well with the effect that we're going to get from Sir. There we go. So now that's been done, we're going to use Rusty's effect and we're going to send Torn Scale to the graveyard. And we're going to set Fog, Fog Blade onto the field right after. Alright, now we're going to go back to the graveyard and use Gloves effect. And we're going to send Cloak to the grave. Alright, once we do that, Torn Scale uh, effect is going to activate and it's going to come back from the grave and it's going to special summon itself onto the field. Cool, now we're going to use, we're going to activate his effect and we're going to send Phantom Knight's wing to the grave, I think it was? No, uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, I don't know, I got confused a little bit, okay. Discard one card from hand. Yeah, okay, my bad. This is the card we're going to discard right now, which is going to be, uh, let's see, what we're going to discard. We're going to discard anything. This one keeps popping up, so I'm just going to discard it just for this demo right here. And we're going to send Phantom Knight's Wing to the grave. You could use Phantom Knight's Sword as well, but I don't care that in my deck. So that's why I got rid of uh, Wing itself. Alright, so now we're going to use Wings effect from the grave and summon Cloak onto the field. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use Torn Scale and we're going to use uh, Cloak and we're going to special summon Levier onto the field as well. And you'll see why we're doing this in a second. Alright, so let's go ahead and read his effect real quick. Once per turn, you can de detach one material from this card, then target one vanished level 4 or lower monster. Special summon that target to the field. So what do we have that's in our vanishing? We have Cloak, so that's what we're going to special summon. We're going to go ahead and detach 
cloak right here. Not cloak. Yeah, it is cloak. Sorry. Getting confused with gloves. So we're going to detach cloak and we're going to special summon gloves back onto the field. And now we're going to use the effect of cloak and search for boots. So boots is right here, I believe. Yep, summon boots. And we're going to get him onto our hand. And we're going to special summon him right after. Oh, I have to put it in defense. All right, now that we have that, we're going to get another left here onto the field as well. You'll see why I'm doing this in a bit. In a bit. Now I'm going to detach boots. And we're going to bring back cloak now. Cool. Now we're going to use both of these levier to special summon the uh, the number of F0s. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Now we're going to vanish out uh, our boots and we're going to bring out uh, Shade. That's what we're going to bring out next. There it is. We're going to set and activate it. And now we're going to uh, summon Link Spider. Go. The next part of the negate, it's going to be. Oh, we didn't even get this guy out. My bad. We have to get this guy out too. <laughs> Completely forgot to get the other number F0. Okay, so we're going to bring him out. Completely forgot. Do this the before getting our Link Spider. That'll be a lot better. Or you can do it after like I did. That, that's okay too. Alright, now let's go ahead and get Appalooza onto the field. Alright, we're going to use him. We're going to use Cherubini. Yep. And we're going to use our uh, Ancient Cloak. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys learned how to set up a combo. This will set up negates. You know, you got you have a negate right here with this card right here, where it can be destroyed by battle or card effect. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can deattach one material from this card, negate the activation. And if the monster is on the field, you get to gain control of it as well. Appalooza, I don't even have to explain it. You know, you guys already know this card is heavily used. And you also have Phantom Knight's effect right there. Um, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. And it's pretty much, if a Dark XYZ monster is special summoned to a zone, this card points to. While this monster is on the field, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. You can only use this effect once per turn. So there you go. So you have, not only do you have that, you also have this effect right here. Activate this card by targeting one effect monster on the field. Negate that face-up monster's effect. And that monster cannot attack. Obviously, the monsters cannot target that face up monster for attacks either. But it's a pretty good board to set up. And it's a basic combo right here, guys. So hopefully it helped you out. If it did, definitely hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a new deck that I'm playing with. So the more combos I'm using and getting used to, I will also make videos on that so you guys can learn from this and set up your perfect bo board or set up your board with using Phantom Knight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.